Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It, it's good to be back, and to be honest, it's good to be anywhere. <laughs> Doctors and nurses at Russell's Hall Hospital saved my life in January, but each year in the UK, 44,000 people are less lucky. Uh, will my right honourable friend look at how we can take the measures we can take to reduce deaths from sepsis, including awareness raising, uh, including a national registry uh, to properly record the burden of sepsis, and uh, effective commissioning levers uh, to incentivise best practice. The UK Sepsis Trust estimates that measures like these will save 50,000 lives over the next Parliament. Yeah. 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 Prime Minister! Can I, can I say to my honourable friend that it's fantastic to see him back in his place and I think, I hope he will have noted the welcome he got from across the House for being back in his place. Uh, but he's absolutely right to bring a focus on this issue of this devastating condition of sepsis and every death from it of course is a tragedy but as we know something like 10,000 deaths per year could be avoided through prevention, early diagnosis and treatment. So uh, we do need to get better at spotting sepsis across the NHS. The Department of Health is already beginning work on a new sepsis action plan. Um, we're having a new public awareness campaign and we expect a nice quality standard to be published later this year. And uh, with the passion that my honourable friend now brings to this campaign, I'm sure he will continue to make his voice heard on this important issue. George.